DIY skincare recipes are fun, easy, and they allow you to be as creative as you want. I mean, trying all those DIY recipes not only gives you a thrill, but also saves your money. But what about your skin? Is DIY skincare safe enough to use on your skin? Let's find out. I know the world would be much easier if you could just take stuff from your pantry and put it on your face. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Many natural skincare products are made from ingredients in your freeze or pantry. But that doesn't mean you just put stuff on your face right from there, right? While many ingredients from the kitchen are used in products, making the DIY skincare using them is quite tricky because most of the time you don't know how many ingredients exactly to mix to not cause any damage on your skin. Also, how one ingredient works with another is often not known unless you are a cosmetic chemist. For this, DIY skincare can sometimes create a big mess with no significant changes to your skin. Let me give you one example. This scrub from Ole Henriksen contains lemon extract and this one works excellent even on my sensitive skin. If you check the ingredient list, you see the lemon is not on the top 5 means the concentration is not so high. Also, there are like 10 other ingredients that can actually prevent your skin from getting dry from the lemon extract. Now, although lemon works perfectly fine in this scrub, making a face pack with raw lemon juice at home can be deadly to your skin. Now you might ask me why is that? The answer is simple. The concentration of vitamin C or lemon juice will be much higher in your DIY skincare mask compared to other commercial products like the scrub I mentioned before. This is problematic because a high concentration of vitamin C or lemon juice means it is highly acidic and has a low pH. If you don't know, our skin's natural acidity is 5.5 and what about a lemon? It's 2.0, means quite acidic. So using a raw acidic lemon will do nothing but throw off your skin's natural pH that's why using a DIY lemon mask can sting and cause irritation on your skin. And this is worse because you can't even figure out the right safe concentration by yourself. This proves that although you see ingredients in a product from your kitchen or pantry, it doesn't mean that you can use the same ingredient or product in your home to make a DIY skincare mask because sometimes it can cause irritation or damage your skin. Not only that, I can give you another example. There is a thing called sugar scrub where they use either honey sugar or lemon sugar combo to exfoliate the skin. I mean, I can't explain in words how terrible that is for your facial skin. Yes, that can be an excellent scrub for your body or your underarm or even for your feet, but for your face, mm -mm. No, I know preservatives have a terrible reputation in the skincare industry. Still, without them, skincare products or DIY skincare can't survive. Any unpreserved water or plant-based DIY recipe doesn't have a shelf life of more than two days. This includes recipes made with flower waters, teas, herbal infusions, and aloe vera gel. Unfortunately, the DIY trends don't acknowledge the importance of preservatives in skincare products. Without it, bacteria will quickly multiply, causing breakouts. So, banana peels, oatmeal, applesauce, or whatever kitchen item finds its way onto your face, if it doesn't contain preservatives, they are not safe for your long-term use. Yes, you can store them in the fridge, but even then, after a few days, they are not in the proper condition to use on your skin. And even after storing them in the fridge, they can still get destroyed or damaged. It's absolutely fine to make beauty products without preservatives as long as they don't contain water. But it's hard to find DIY skincare products or recipes that don't have water. Another thing to consider is homemade skincare products lack quality controls. When skincare products are made in a dedicated facility, the company monitors every detail. There are designated quality control chemists to do this job. Not only that, so many considerations go into creating a product that is stable and safe for your skin. For example, primary ingredients are maintained at specific temperatures 
before adding inactive ingredients. This ensures that they are not altered or turned ineffective. Also, the pH of the product needs to be maintained throughout. Air quality is monitored, room humidity levels is maintained, and so on and so on. When you are making DIY skincare at home, you are not doing any of this, so you can't say for sure that your product or whatever recipe you are making at your home is going to do some work or won't damage your skin. But wait, that doesn't mean all DIY skincare recipes are useless. No, I'm not saying that. Many types of homemade skincare products are brilliant and works really good. For example, yogurt-based face mask or milk-based cleansers you make at your home are excellent for your skin and one of my personal favorite is the milk cleanser I make at home because that one works so great. But for things like moisturizing creams, high percentage acid exfoliants and SPF, it's better to stick with the commercial ones because they are well tested and also they are formulated in a well-maintained facility. So that brings the question, is DIY skincare safe for your skin? Well, it's hard to answer this in a solid yes or no, but if you ask my opinion, I would say DIY skincare is not worth it. Yes, most of the DIY skincare recipes are safe except some deadly ones and they don't do severe damage to your skin. But on the other hand, DIY skincare won't be as effective as the commercial ones. DIY skincare probably won't do as much good as you would hope or want it. Most of the DIY skincare's benefits are short-lived and you can't expect a significant result from DIY skincare recipes. So if you ask me, I would recommend sticking with commercial products that have been tested and went through several clinical trials. But hey, once in a while, if you want to be creative, maybe try the DIY recipes that are not for the face, but for other parts like your lips, underarm or feet just to be on the safe side so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed and learned something new from this video if you did please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to my channel you can also follow me on my socials the handles are given right here my name is salmin and i'll catch you on my next one until then ciao